Hi everyone, this is Merle Strom. If you are searching for a fix for your Adobe Flash Player on Google Chrome browser and you stumble on this video, this is my third how-to video on the subject. To those of you who have subscribed to my first or second video, you'll probably know that this is my latest. Your questions and comments on the previous ones prompted me into posting this third one on the topic. Anyway, although Adobe Flash Player has about 2 years, 8 months, and 24 days left in existence before Adobe stops updating and distributing it on December 31st, 2020, there are still quite a few websites that are dependent on it in streaming videos. Plus, player usage by websites goes down each year primarily because it has several problems over the years that include security risk, causing browsers to crash, and using too much battery power on video playbacks, cutting the battery life in half. These were the reasons why Google Chrome made the changes in December 2016, making the open web platform HTML5 the default experience blocking websites that only support Flash for a safer and power-efficient browsing. You might have noticed that the Flash Player setting on the Chrome browser was changed from Allow Sites to Run Flash to Ask First, which took effect through a Chrome browser update right after my second video, New Fix for Disabled and Blocked Adobe Flash Player for Google Chrome New Version Users, was posted on August 31, 2017. By the way, my first video, How to Enable Adobe Flash Player for Chrome Browser Users, was posted on April 11, 2017. The viewer's comments asking me what to do if it says Ask First prompted me to make this third video. You're looking at the two videos that I just mentioned. I have part of these videos included in this new one to show you the difference and the change. Before we do anything, let's start by checking if there is a new Chrome browser update. Let's go to Help by clicking on the three dots on the upper right hand corner of the browser. Go down and point your mouse to Help right below the settings. A box will open to the left of it. Move your mouse to the left and click on About Google Chrome. It will take you to the help settings showing you if your browser is updated or not. Here it says Chrome is up to date. Version 65.0.3325.181 Official Build 64-bit Official Build means official version of the update for 64-bit processor. The terms 32-bit and 64-bit refer to the way a computer's processor, also called a CPU or Central Processing Unit, handles information. The 64-bit version of Windows handles large amounts of random access memory or RAM, typically 4 GB of RAM or more. Since the browser is up to date, let's go to Settings to find the Adobe Flash Player. Click on the three dots on the upper right hand corner of the browser. Go down and click on Settings. Go down and click on Advanced. Go down and click on the arrow to the right of Content Settings. Go down and locate Flash. As you can see, the default is set to Ask First. 
move your mouse all the way to the right of it and click on the arrow. It will take you to the Flash Player settings. As you can see, Ask First is the recommended default and the choice is highlighted in blue to the right of it. Right below are your two options where websites that need to run Flash can be blocked or added in the Allow list. If you need to add websites in the Allow list, make sure that you only allow websites that you trust. Just to let you know, it doesn't make a difference what default the Flash Player is set. The procedure of adding the website in the Allow list is the same. To save on recording and editing, I just added a clip from my second video to show you how it is done. Following after this clip, I'll be showing you how to enable the Flash Player from within a website that needed to run Flash. Here is the clip. Even though Flash is manually enabled, there are websites where Flash plugins are blocked. In this case, the best thing to do is to add the websites in the Allow section of the Flash settings. The easiest and fastest way is to copy and paste. I have opened a new browser ready with a website that I want to add to allow to run Flash. You'll have to open a new tab or browser, either by right-clicking the upper left corner of the Chrome browser or clicking the three dots right of the star on the upper right corner of the browser. Make sure to leave the Flash settings open because you're going back to it to complete the process. On the new browser, go to the website that you want to add. Copy the web address by tapping on it. Once it is highlighted in blue, right click it. From the drop down list, left click copy to copy the address. Now go back to the Flash settings. Click on Add to the right of Allow. Right click on the space provided. Left click Paste from the drop down list. Click Add and you're done. Hope the added clip helps you resolve your Flash Player issue. Now let me show you another way of enabling the Flash Player from within a website needing to run Flash. This is a video streaming website by CNN. In some cases like this one, the streaming screen is white with a Flash Player symbol or icon in the middle when Flash is blocked. All you need to do is click on the icon to enable Flash. A dialog box will open right below the web address with the option to click Allow and you're all set. So we, for sure, we do here. We do flamenco, we do tapas, and we do siesta. If you have questions or concerns about this topic, please don't hesitate to use the comments down below to reach me. I normally answer questions or comments within 24 hours. I surely appreciate you taking your time to watch my videos. If you like this video or the other videos that I posted, please click on the like button at the bottom of the viewing screen. If you have not done so and would like to subscribe, please do so before leaving my channel. Thanks for watching and for dropping by. I'll see you next time.